up, up, and blown away. So what's with all the cheering? They were so successful. Today. Canadian Chris Hadfield, the retired astronaut and former commander of the International Space Station, telling CNN SpaceX's Thursday morning launch of Starship, the most powerful space rocket ever built, exceeded his expectations. We should have had separation by now. Even though it ended in an explosion minutes after takeoff in Texas. They got all engines lit, they cleared the launch tower, they got up through the maximum uh, stress on the vehicle, they got faster than the speed of sound, they got up to the high atmosphere. I mean, it was way more successful than I thought it was gonna be. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk also celebrating the blast off, tweeting, Congrats, SpaceX team, on an exciting test launch of Starship. Learned a lot for next test launch in a few months. I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Important to mention, no people were on board for this. The first ever test of the biggest ever rocket ship built that drew a crowd to watch the event firsthand after Monday's attempt was called off due to a frozen valve. Starship really has the potential to be completely revolutionary. It's going to be a real game changer. This former NASA astronaut explains why the huge rocket that stands 120 meters or about 400 feet tall is poised to break the space travel mold as we know it. Right now when we launch Cruise Dragon, we could take four people uh, in there up to the space station. Starship theoretically could carry maybe as many as 100 people. With Starship, if it can be refueled on orbit, then has enough propellant to get from Earth to basically anywhere in the solar system, back to the moon, uh, onto Mars, and other destinations inside the solar system. And Starship, he adds, is cheaper because it has the potential to be fully reusable. As for what caused the explosion, well, SpaceX is out with a statement on its website saying that Starship put on quite the show. And they go on to say that the vehicle experienced multiple engines out during the flight test, lost altitude, and began to tumble. And they add, with a test like this, success comes from what we learn. And we learned a tremendous amount. Melissa Duggan, City News.